I'm Dr. Raj Shaw, founder of Math Plus Academy, where we teach live online math enrichment classes to kids aged 5 to 15. And I'm here with a math treat. And this week's treat is a puzzle about handshakes. Now you have to imagine a time where people could get together and shake each other's hands at parties and things like that. And in this little puzzle, you have noticed that every single person at a party, which has a certain number of people, every single person has shaken the hand of every other person in the room. And it turns out that in this situation, there were exactly 190 handshakes. And the puzzle, the question is, how many people were at this party? Can you even figure it out only knowing the number of handshakes that happened? And again, remember that everyone shakes hands with everyone else exactly once, and nobody shakes hands with themselves because that's kind of strange. So if you wanted to sort of act it out or draw it out, you might draw something that looks like this. And you might say, well, this person right here, I know they're going to shake hands with that person over there. That's one. And this person over here, that's two. And this person over there, that's three. And this one, four. And this one, five. And so on. You could start drawing out these connections to try and count how many handshakes would be for a certain number of people. Here I have eight. I don't know if that's going to get me the right number or not. So that's the puzzle. Um, I'm actually curious, before you even start, do you have a guess? Do you think it's 10 people, 25 people, 50 people, 100 people? I wonder. Just write down your intuition, your guess, because it's always fun to go back and look and see, was I even close? And then try some things. You might try drawing a picture. You might try acting it out with a smaller group of people. You might try solving a simpler problem. Start with a party that only has two or three or four people and see what happens and work your way up. So I love this problem because there are a lot of ways to try it, a lot of ways to solve it. Some are very mathematical and others are very visual. So it's open to all different kinds of ways of thinking. And I'm super curious to see what different kinds of thinking you guys come up with. And then when you're done and you think you have an answer, how are you going to check it? Well, one way to check it is try a different strategy and if you get the same number in two different ways, you can be pretty confident that you have the right answer. And then the last thing is, I want you to think about some extensions. What can we do with this? How can we take it further? Well, a question might be, well, what are the possible numbers of handshakes? Can you have 189 handshakes where everyone shakes hands with everybody else? Or 191? I don't know. Are there some numbers that are possible and other numbers that are not? Something to explore. Uh, another thing would be, if I told you the number of people, could you tell me how many handshakes there were going to be? If I said there's 23 people in the room and they all shake hands with each other exactly once, how many handshakes are going to be? Or what about 100 people or 1,000 people? Can you generalize it so if I gave you any number, you could kind of quickly calculate how many handshakes there were? So that's another thing that you could do for an extension. And then you could just make up your own ideas. Like, what if everyone shakes hands with every other person. So you skip half the people and you shake hands with half the people. Does that change anything? Uh, what, what goes on with that? I'd really be curious about what the math is for that because honestly, I haven't even explored that yet. So curious to see what you come up with. So lots of good extensions you can think about. Just make something up and explore it. Draw a picture of what it looks like. So that's this week's math treat. I hope you enjoy. I'm super curious to see what you do. And, uh, as always, just have fun playing with mathematical things.